Hello and welcome back. I'm Dr. Nicola and you are watching Aspen Talks Health where we learn about alternative healing modalities and how to live a healthy and compassionate life. Today we're talking about the latest brain enhancement technology and new ways chiropractors are healing their patients. With us is Dr. Tom Lankering. He is a bioenergetic chiropractor and the founder of Lankering Chiropractic and Wellness down in Basalt. Welcome. Thank you, Nicola. Nice to be here. Such a pleasure. So I took a survey on Facebook last week and asked my friends, what are they most interested in? And the highest report back was brain enhancement. Hmm, People that's... really want to enhance their cognitive ability. Yeah. So I'm very excited to talk about this new technology. But before we get to that, can we start first with the old school ch chiropractic and how that's shifting? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, obviously we could go on and on with it, but the old bone out of position pinching a nerve was kind, kind of evolved when D.D. Palmer, the founder of chiropractic, started doing his work and it was a way of differentiating from what the medical field was. So a pinched nerve and how it would affect the function because it was basically the relationship between structure and function, structure mm -hmm. being primarily muscles and bones and function being primarily the nerves and the energy that flow through them. So the energy has always been part of it. If things are in the right place, they work right. If things are not in the right place, they don't work right. So that was kind of a basic thing that kind of chiropractic used to differentiate from medical. And then as it evolved, because back in 1895, the the instrumentation didn't really, couldn't really measure what was going on. But now, as the technology has evolved, that we realize that it's really all about energy. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll talk about quantum energy or quantum physics, and the body is just an energy being. Yeah. But we've been so conditioned into thinking our bodies as physical or structural. You know, if we have an injury, is it a muscle or a bone or a nerve? We realize that now it's really about energy. And my interpretation now of what pain is, is that it's a blockage of energy. And where that goes, and, and even pain comes from the brain. We think it might be from an injury that we're dealing with. We have pain in our knee or pain in our shoulder and go, oh, well, that's where the pain is coming from. Kind of interesting, because the research is showing that the, there's an injury, the message goes up to the brain, and the brain says, oh, we've got a few things we have to do in addition to healing. We've got to let this person know that we have a problem. Yeah. So the pain messages actually come from the brain, even though the injury might be somewhere else. And that's where the brain tap comes in because the brain wave patterns, which are high beta waves, get in a stuck pattern. And so to move out of pain, one of the places you need to go to is the brain, which is where 70% of the nervous system actually is, not necessarily in the spinal cord. Right. So with that, it's a little bit different approach. You know, everything's always changing. And even the idea of the biology of belief and epigenetics is changing the way we look at biology and what's going on. Everybody thinks it's the genes and we blame our parents for who we are, right? And we go, you know, it's, it's not really right. that. We have a lot more um, control over what's going on in our body. So true. Yeah. So I came to see you yesterday and mm -hmm. I was, I had very strong pains in my lower back. They mm -hmm. might just, it was like tense like a rock, my muscles, my lower spine. And by the time I walked out of your office, I was, I felt 80% cleared. Right. And you touched me a little bit with this cool machine that did some tapping, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like an elbow in there digging it out. It right. was fascinating. Instead, you did some muscle testing. Can you talk about muscle testing and how you... Yeah, I, again, bioenergetic. So bio is life, energetic is energy. So life energy. So I'm all about getting the full expression and optimizing our life energy. Pain is a blockage of energy. I like to refer to myself as an electrician for the body. Mm. So when we use muscle testing, it's a type of reflex testing. Reflex testing, we've been in the doctor's office, you know, they tap you on the knee and you kick them in the shin, right? Or they tap you on the elbow and you punch them in the nose. Those are reflexes dealing with nerves and muscles. And muscle testing is another type of reflex testing. Again, if I talk in terms as an electrician, if I have a good circuit, if there are places that affect the circuit, it's just like a light switch. Does it keep it on or does it turn it off? Does it keep it on, does it turn it off? If I ask you to go over and stick your finger in the socket, you would feel some energy. Yes. And so it's a similar type of situation. And as we go through life, the different types of stressors, we're putting plugs in the outlet and plugs in the outlet until we put one plug too many and it blows the circuits out. 
So with muscle testing, it's a way of asking the body. Yes, I have an understanding of patterns and what may be going, but I'm always asking why. And the, the person I'm asking is the person I'm working with to go, why, what's showing up? And so I'm following the circuits. We have certain patterns and uh, circuitry that are basic, but yet all different circuits can go in all different ways. Mm. So that's where I use the muscle testing, starting with a basic premise, and then it takes me to where I need to go. Right. Yeah, at first you seem to scan the the body for viruses or, or my in, my um, intestines, correct? Well, what we did is is I work if if you think of baseball field, okay. right? And I cover the bases. So when we start going along, home plate is physical or structural stress or structural integrity is the cornerstone to good health. All right. Then first base is mental and emotional stress. All right. Second base would be toxins, which would be, could be environmental toxins or heavy metals, but could also be acupuncture or meridian points. These are things that are in the body that shouldn't be. And then third base is biochemical and nutritional. These are things that are not in the body that should be. So it's kind of very simple in that this reflex here deals with emotions. Mm -hmm. How many people do you see walking around like this? Or whenever you have stress, you go, oh my gosh, right? So it's interesting how the body connects in the frontal, prefrontal lobe and cortex and is where that deals with. You know, this is the reflex that deals with second base and toxins. So if we have a strong circuit, and I should say in this, I just know what questions to ask the body, tells me biochemical and nutritional. So in your situation, the low back was what was the door we went through. Right. And I'm going, why? Why do you have low back pain? You know, what circuits are blowing out that you feel the pain there? So we checked emotions. Emotions showed up. We checked second base and toxins, which showed up. We checked nutrition, which showed up. So from nutrition, then there are reflex points, all right? There's the thyroid. There's heart and blood and lungs and kidney and liver and gallbladder and stomach and small intestines and large intestines. And so what we found out for you was that on an energetic basis, the stomach and the small intestines and the large intestines needed some support as far as energy. The energy wasn't optimized in that area. Hmm. So that's how we got to your gut. You know, we did some emotional release work, very different from talk therapy. You didn't tell me the whole story. I didn't need to know the whole story, nor did I want to know the whole story. But we found out what emotions were going on that were blowing the circuits out. Yeah, it was fascinating. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. With that. You went through a few, and you, you came up with, what was it, muddled? Muddled instability, hmm. right? Yeah. Now, I hope that doesn't I affect your image it. or I anything like that, right? <laughs> but we all have these emotions. Yeah. And so there's no judgment on the emotions. They just are what they are, you yeah. know, as we work with it. It was fascinating. So, yeah. I mean, and, you went right to the target of my two issues that I didn't even realize that were such, they were, they're were they not top of my list, right. even though, but they're in there. They're, yeah. And they've been stressing me out a little bit on the, on, on the under level. Right, kind of like an iceberg. You know, you only yeah. see the tip, but what's really underneath? You know, what part sunk the Titanic? Yeah. You know, and so we can really get into why, you know, what's the cause of what's going on? And when we start turning the circuits back on and getting the energy going, the body's pretty amazing as to how it responds, and it likes to get energy flowing. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, it's, it's wild. It's fun to work with. Yeah, it was very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then the tapping machine, what is that? Yeah, so I use some instruments. You know, I kind of came about that because I used to do the elbow stuff. I used to do the thumbs. And my hands fell apart uh, doing a lot of that work. So it's not only tough on the people I work with, but it was tough on me. So, and the doctor that I've been studying with for 20 years, he's always been on the cutting edge, cold laser. These are instruments where actually they're faster than my hands can be. Mm. And so what I can find is where the switch is that I need to turn on, right? I mean, it used to be the old school of moving bones. You know, if I go, Nicola, uh, if I want you to go over there, I could pick you up and throw you over there. Or I could say, hey, would you mind going over there? Yeah. A lot easier on you and me, and it still gets the job done. Right. But what it does is it starts getting the energy moving, and those areas actually affect what's going on up in the brain. So it's messages to the brain because the brain is like the conductor coordinating everything of what's happening there. 
Loved it. Yeah. It was so very effective. Uh -huh. I was very impressed. All right, so let's switch to this technology, please, because uh, this is fascinating. So I sat with this for 23 minutes. There is how many programs you can pick from? 800. 800. 800. And they vary from stress to uh, across the board, really. Across, yeah. Do you mind if we talk here? Is yeah. <laughs> it was brilliant. So tell us about this. So this is the brain tap technology, using light and sound and uh, how it affects... Uh, our brains and so we can see that the ears have lights that are coordinated with auricular therapy or acupuncture points in the ear. The uh, eye lights are uh, affecting our lights kind of like if you look in a campfire you kind of get mesmerized by the flames. Yeah. So light energy or frequencies it's what we call entrain the brain. The brain will adapt or kind of uh, get hooked on that energy. We also use binaural beats, isochronic tones, guided imagery and music. And so like I said, there's over 800 programs. So there's weight loss, there's sleep, there's pain, there's autism, there's addiction, there's stopping smoking, stopping drinking, PTSD, Diabetes. brain fitness. Huh? Diabetes. Diabetes well. we saw, right? So yeah. irritable bowel, I mean, sports performance, you know, getting in the zone. Well, this technology puts you in the zone because it works, uh, Patrick Porter, who designed it, um, has engineered each program because we have beta and high beta, which are that we're talking in beta waves right now that we're paying attention, all right? But then alpha and theta, theta is like your daydreaming, delta waves are your sleep waves. A lot of autistic children are stuck in theta, they're like in dreamland. So sometimes we need to support beta. Most people are in a beta because they're in a survival, adrenal stress fight or flight mode, all right? And so our nervous system, we have our volunteer nervous system that controls our arms and legs, but the involuntary or autonomic or automatic controls our blood vessels, organs, and glands. And that's further divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic. Mm -hmm. So fight or flight, and the parasympathetic deals with digestion and detoxification and recovery, recuperation, anti-inflammation. But the body can't heal when it's stuck here. Yeah. which is one of the reasons why you find a lot of people with digestive issues. And a lot of the work that I'm doing now, this brain balance, brain-based wellness, is really about bringing the body back to balance. Even hemp oil and the endocannabinoid system is so effective because it supports, the endocannabinoid system supports the parasympathetic, which is a healing system in our body. Mm. And so many people are out of balance. And so that's what a lot of these are for, but we can find out in the heart rate variability instrument uh, that I have, which we can measure. This is just a, a simple thing, but it measures stress index, neurohormonal regulation, which is the nerves and hormones, psycho-emotional state. So if we're stuck in a high beta, we can't relax. Yeah. All right? Cardiovascular, metabolic, uh, complex health analysis. So you can see where things are out of balance. Uh, the the uh, biological age. So why our chronological age might be something, but the accumulation of stress may actually make us either older or younger, but at least we can measure, and then we can take the steps to start reducing the accumulation or the impacts of stress on our bodies. Yeah. Yeah. I, when I did this, by the time I got out, I, I felt like I had been almost, forced is not the right word, but I had gone right into a deep theta state. I mm -hmm. was almost in a dream state. Yes. So anyone who's challenged with meditating or feels like they can't meditate because they don't know how to stop their thoughts, this is brilliant. I well, mean, it does this, it for you. Yeah, this is meditation on steroids. Yeah. And because, you know, meditation is an art. I mean, it's, you, you know, to do that, people who have tried meditating realize that your brain starts wandering. Well, what's nice about this is you can let your brain wander, you can do whatever, people can come in and out of the room because the light and the sound are doing the work. And so it doesn't matter where your mind goes because each program is engineered and it's demonstrated and there's research. Duke University has done the research with this and they're still doing more on it. So all of these things are there and each program is engineered to take you towards that theta, that daydreaming where people go, wow, where did I go? Or I took a nap, you know? Yeah. So people who have trouble sleeping all of a sudden start sleeping and get a good night's sleep and they're like, I mean, it's, just, it's a whole new life for them type of wow. situation. Yeah, well, that's so interesting. Yeah. And you recommend three times a day? 
You can do uh, you can do once a day is good. Okay. And also there's morning sessions. We call it digital coffee. Huh. You can do one in the afternoon, you know, kind of like taking a power nap or so. Or you and you know, you can do one on focus or concentration or energy or positive talk. I mean there's programs on abundance and business and goal setting and just to get your mind in the right place. Amazing. And then at eve in the evening there are things to take you down. Let's just say watching television or being on the computer or being on a phone, the blue light stimulates our brain. Right. So this will take you into that delta so that you can get a good night's sleep. Um, so, you know, so one a day is good, two a day is better, three a day is best. You don't need to do more than three a day. Yeah. If people aren't going to do it that way, they can come in, They come into my office and they'll do two sessions a week for 10 weeks because we're really dealing with neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is one of the hot things you talk about brain enhancement. And neuroplasticity is really about changing how the brain is functioning and how the brain is wiring and firing. With So this allows people to relax, uh, relieve and reboot as far as your brain is concerned. Um, so 10 weeks is what it takes to make neuroplastic changes. If you do it on a more intense, you can do maybe something in four weeks if you're doing it you know, three times a day, every day. But yet there's still maintenance because you might do it and then go out in the world with <laughs> everything going on. And our brain, because a lot of times it's not just how we respond, but it's how we recover from stress. Yeah. So we may be out there and we think, oh, well, here's stress and I can deal with this thing. But how do you really recover? And that seesaw of sympathetic, parasympathetic, we're stuck here. And if you're way out here, right, and you got Fat Albert sitting on the other end, you know, it's going to take a bit more work to bring you back to balance. Now, the closer you are to balance, the less effort it takes. But if you have a more of a stress type of situation. But, you know, there's always things that you can, yeah. I mean, even just sports performance or brain fitness, especially now with dementia and Alzheimer's and these types of things going on. This brain convention that I was just at uh, was amazing and actually with a cure for Alzheimer's and dementia. Oh. And some people might be out there go, oh, really? Well, you know, if you're looking outside the mainstream, there is research. We had researchers with top medical schools in India and Brazil, Italy and France doing work on light and sound therapy, uh, even light touch and how that is effective um, and there are cures. And so I work with brain tap. I work with detoxification. I work with nutrition and these different types of things of conditioning the brain to get back. So if people are dealing with these types of, there is hope, you know, yeah, yeah. there are ways of reversing it, of what's going on. And so it's, it's very exciting. It's fascinating yeah. and uh, things going on. Yeah. So I find myself searching for words often mm -hmm. and I, I don't know if I relate that to, you know, partying back in the day, or mm -hmm. if that's now, uh, we found some heavy metals in my system, which can cause brain fog. Huge. And, and mold, so can this help with that? Yes, yes. How does it do it? Can you explain that one more time? Well, again, you know, light and sound therapy is what we're dealing with here. Yeah. And so when we're, when we're looking at this, the brain will get used to these different patterns. So let's just say uh, you mentioned as far as cognitive skills or, or focus or concentration or memory. Yes. All right. So w you need to be in a certain brain wave to be focusing, right? If we're sitting here talking and we're focusing, we're not daydreaming and la di da, although you've probably spoken with people who are la di da. Now I have an insight as to why they're la di da and out in space because their brain wave patterns are not there. They need to be, they need to be. It, it's a lot easier in life if we can be doing the appropriate things at the appropriate time. And if it's a lot easier, we can be much more effective. We can make this place a, a planet a better place. We can be helping each other. We can be living to our full optimal. So if a situation where you're having trouble focusing or concentration, I go, why? Mm -hmm. And so, again, the brain waves, like isochronic tones or binaural beats, I'm sorry, Binaural beats and then the tones, what happens is they'll say, uh, put 200 frequency in one ear and 220 in the other ear. Well, the brain perceives 10. So it takes the difference and then that's what it works at. So Patrick oh, Porter, who's developed this, 
has done the research for over 30 years, 30 years he's been doing it, and knows, okay, so for focus and concentration, these are the brainwave patterns that we need to be looking at mm. to, to get us into a healthy, balanced state. So we can see where people are at, deal with what issues they're dealing with. You know, you can take, you can purchase these, you can take them home and do them, and you can go, man, I, I'm just not focused today. So in the morning you might do, like I said, a digital coffee of focus and concentration, you know, or you might do creativity or 800 programs, you know. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, that's, yeah. that's a, a year or three times a day, you know, uh, almost, right? Yeah, so, I can't wait to get one. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it's exciting. It's, it's pretty amazing. Did, did I answer what you were asking? Like, yeah, absolutely. As far as how it works, but so the sound, it's like if, you hear, if you're hearing live music and a whole crowd will get into the beat, right. into the music, right? So music and beats have an impact on our body, all right? Sound has an impact on our body, right? If you keep hearing the same, right? How many times have you gotten a song stuck in your mind? <laughs> yeah. You know, hopefully it's a good song, but those days where you have a bad song stuck in your mind is brutal, right? right. But so the same thing where your brain is caught in that brainwave frequency, all right? But like looking in a campfire, you get mesmerized. So all the lights and the different patterns are stimulating different points uh, of the brain and that it's working with. And the lights in the ear, you said, was like acupuncture? Acupuncture similar? points. So all the blood and the energy all flow through the ears. So as you're doing the program and the light photons, right, they're finding now again light and sound, but E equals MC squared. Mm -hmm. E is energy, M is mass. Could be blood mass, could be brain mass, nerve mass, heart mass pancreas mass, bone mass, and C is the speed of light. So energy mass and light are all interchangeable, which is why cold laser is effective. That's why we're talking bioenergetic, and, and we tap in to the energy circuitry in the body. Very interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, you know, it's so fun because I'm in my 35th year of practice, and I'm more excited about the work I'm doing now because this is a whole frontier. And you, we're talking about dementia, or we're talking about autism, or we're yeah. talking about... I mean, there's, there's some things, and that, and that is what has driven me and has motivated me to go, man, there's people out there suffering. Yeah. You know? And with all the electromagnetic stress and toxins and everything else going on, you know, yeah, we have to see what we can do with it. Yeah. To help our bodies cope with the world we're living in. We're not going to get rid of cell phones. We're not going to get rid of computers. So what do we do? Right. And this is something that helps bring that seesaw back to balance. Yeah, yeah, it's true, especially the EMFs. Those are so dangerous. Huge. And we're sleeping with them going right through our bedrooms. Mm -hmm. It's constant. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, w there's a program for weight loss. How does that work? Do you well, know? It, yeah, uh, because with weight issues, there's a huge emotional component. I mean, emotions play a huge role. You know, 75 to 99.9 .9 plus percent of issues going on in our body have an emotional component to them. Mm. So what this does is it helps you to get in the right frame as far as a healthy person or as a skinny person. And it helps you to, when you get to a fork in the road, if you've always been going left, it helps you to go right, right? So if you're always taking this kind of food, it gets you into a healthy way and go, hey, you know what? I want to start drinking more water. You know, it helps you to get, you know, because if you think, oh, I don't want to exercise. Well, you put the brain top and go, oh, I do want to exercise. Ha. Right? You know, oh, I'm just going to eat some comfort food. No, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to fast. You know, there's programs on fasting. There's, and so it actually changes, again, the neuroplasticity in the brain as far as you, the emotional component. It's huge because how many people do we know who are trying to exercise or trying to eat weight and it's just so brutally frustrating for them and it's painful for them and for us to see these people trying to do what they can and when you and, and the brain the weight loss is probably one of the most successful programs hmm. that they've had with brain tap uh, as far as you know changes with people who have lost weight and kept it off because and they keep doing the brain tap because you're still thinking vibrant health and you're still thinking healthy thoughts as you go along right yeah oh i definitely emotionally eat i'm not hungry most of the time and i'm still <laughs> right yeah yeah <laughs> and it's yeah it's fine at least i choose healthy foods and so therefore i'm, I'm still lean and but uh, yeah. yeah yeah i mean so that's one of the areas where it has the, the biggest change and the biggest impact for people Oh, and with everything else, you know, I think that, you know, it's a holistic approach that we look at. 
Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. It's, it's fun. I love yeah. it. Thank yeah. you for introducing me to that. It's uh -huh. very interesting. Yeah. Um, how do you optimize life energy? Well, a lot of what we've been going through, all right? And so if we look at the baseball field of the different circuits, again, I'm the electrician. So we, we go through and we see what circuits are turned off. We turn them back on. The follow-up would see, well, let's see what corrections have held and which corrections have not, which makes me want to look a little deeper and go, okay, so what else is blowing this circuit out? Mm. So as we go along, I mean, gravity is the constant stress we all deal with, all right? But then we mentioned emotional stress and so forth. So it depends where people want to go, you know, as far as their life energy. Some people are going, well, I'm pretty good where I'm at right now. I go, okay, fine, you know. Some people are going, yeah, I'm doing great now, but I want to do better, you know. Some people are going, man, I need help. You know, so there's something for everybody. You know, it just depends. I mean, even a chiropractic an adjustment. I mean, an adjustment doesn't mean an overhaul, unless we've gotten to that point where we need an overhaul. But sometimes an adjustment, you know, if, you, if the ship is leaving the harbor and a one degree difference makes a difference where you end up, you know, in whether in Europe or Africa. Yeah. So it can it can make a big difference with what's going on, and we don't know what we don't know. Yeah. So yeah. true. Yeah. Any final thoughts? It's fun. You know, and, and I think that we have so much and we live in a great community and, and there's a lot to offer and it's all about energy. And, and so maybe some of this might be new for some people. Go, oh, wow, I've never thought of our bodies as really energy beings. But I think it's all energy and I think the more you, you do that. So it's, it's fun, you know. People can get a hold of me at lankeringchiropractic.com. My, my office number is 970-927-9900. I want to help. You know, I'm on a mission. And, uh, you know, so whatever I can do, if people have questions, give me a call and we'll see if I can help. You know, if I can't help, I'll try to get them in the right place to the right person. But I've got some pretty cool things that I've been working with that yeah. are, are a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's... Very effective. Yeah. I, I, I can't believe how I walked in and how I walked out. And I wasn't even expecting... Yeah. It worked out amazing. Yeah. And, and recovered, uncovered some emotional things I need to work on that... Brilliant. Well, just uh, what's nice with this is you don't really need to work on that emotional stuff. We've handled that. Mm. That's the good news. The other not as good news is there might be some other emotional stuff. <laughs> right? There might be some other layers. We so, yeah, it's, it's fun. But it's completely different from talk therapy and counseling and the physiology and how the emotions manifest in our body. Yeah. And how they affect our energy fields. Fascinating. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And it's also probably a leading cause of many diseases as well, not just uh, muscular tension, but... Dis-ease. Right. Not disease. Right. right. We go from at-ease to dis-ease to disease. Yeah. Right? As, and that's what it is. It's about putting our bodies at ease, which is when, you know, when you're in the flow. So true. People watching have been in the flow, whether you're sports or arts or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I thank really you. appreciate I, it. I appreciate the opportunity. So it's, it's wonderful and I appreciate what you're doing and, and getting the word out and the great, you know, we're, we're on a mission. Yeah. And, and there's, there is hope for people out there. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. Check out AspenTalksHealth.com. I'll put up a link to how you can get a hold of one of these devices and Dr. Tom. And also submit your questions so that I can find more experts to answer your questions out there. Thanks for tuning in.